What possessions might raise suspicion that remain within legal bounds? Hume. One very high-quality chef's knife. A full-body disposable jumpsuit. An angle grinder. A melon baller. A meat smoker. Various leatherworking tools. A large number of ice packs. And a nice Chianti. None of this is weird to own if you own a home. But when you list it this way, it certainly does cause the mind to draw some incorrect conclusions. It's when I lost the key to my crawl spaces padlock once and went to the hardware store to buy bolt cutters so I could replace it. I told the cashier why I was buying them without being asked and he was like, it's funny. Everyone that buys bolt cutters feels like they need to tell me why they are buying them. I think they just want me to know they aren't about to do something illegal. Apparently serial killers have a copy of John Fowles' book The Collector more often than would be expected. A Wikipedia article references this. They made a good movie from it 60 years ago. Worth watching if you can find it. Terence Stamp and Samantha Egger. Items like lockpicking tools are a great example. They're completely legal to own and can be used by locksmiths or hobbyists for perfectly legitimate purposes. However, Possessing them might raise eyebrows or suspicion, since they can also be used for illegal activities like breaking and entering, despite the owner potentially having no such intentions. Lockpicks, they're legal to own, at least where I live. I'm fairly handy, been in the trades forever. Seemed like a fun thing to learn. Had my neighbour beating on her door for quite a while. Little kid mistakenly locked her out and wasn't letting her back in. She did thank me, but I got a lot of fucking side of opening her door for her. I moved from Maryland to Kentucky a couple years back. Decided shooting would be a fun hobby to get into. Let me tell you, driving to a friend's house with multiple guns in the car and the shit ton of ammunition is really awkward. I know it's my right, but it just feels like I'm doing something wrong. My brother likes to joke about my book collection because I have what he calls the communist trinity. The books he is referring to are 1984, Animal Farm, and Fahrenheit 451. It's not unusual for people to walk into my room, see the books, and ask me if I'm communist. Large centrifuges, legal to own. But you will be put on a government watch list instantly if you try to buy one. And if you also buy raw uranium, also legal BTW. You will absolutely be getting a visit from the FBI. Pipes, grinders, rolling papers etc. in Chinese shops. Tobacco stores even convenience stores for rolling papers s. But weed is still illegal in most countries. You can buy it and own it but not use it. The skeletons in the water in the movie Poltergeist were actually real. It was more cost-effective than having realistic ones made. Not illegal, but sketchy as hell and not particularly ideal for the cast. A small scale could be used to weigh ingredients for baking, could be used for something else. Similarly, a bunch of tiny Ziploc bags. Are they a drug dealer or into beadwork jewellery making? I have a hatchet, zip ties, duct tape, some rope heavy-duty plastic and some bleach around the house. Now, if I put them in a duffel bag in my trunk dot 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 hum, psychedelic mushroom spores, they're legal to own and purchase. But why would you need them unless you're planning to grow them? Buying duct tape, garbage bags and bleach simultaneously. Perfectly legal, but might creep out the cashier at the store. Lock picks. Picking locks as sport is fun that tell anyone you own and can use them and immediately an eyebrow goes up. I bought zip ties and a tarp at Home Depot and the guy helping me asked if I also needed bleach and rubber gloves, castor bean seeds or plants. The Turner Diaries. I'm not a neo-Nazi or extremist. I just happen to read controversial books. Sometimes, buying 1,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate fertilizer and 500 gallons of diesel fuel when I don't own a farm. Again, not sure of the traduction, but little plastic pouch pox and fronke. If you know, you know, ha ha. Why do you have 10 shipping crates of fertilizer in your backyard? Shrug. 
I got a good deal. My roommate has a hollowed out grenade and I have a decommissioned LPC blade from a harrier. Large amounts of Mimosa hostilis root park, ditto for a whole garden of San Pedro. Baking soda, a torch and possibly a problem with payment going through. He kick. Purchasing caustic soda, or lie and lighter fluid from the same store. A self-portrait of a John Wayne gaze and handwritten letters. Lock-picking tools. I'm a hobbyist but keep it to myself. I bought fish tank hose and muriatic acid at Ace Hardware.